optimistic that residents will be able to begin to move back at McDougal Terrace in the second or third week of February. Just a little while longer. That's when residents of McDougal Terrace may be able to return home. And tonight we're hearing from families who tell us they're not happy with the repairs underway right now. The Durham Housing Authority is spending at least $4.3 million on the emergency plan. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live in Durham explaining why some people who live there worry those repairs are coming up short. Mackenzie. Well, that's right. We came here to MacDougall Terrace to check and see how some of those repairs were going. But when we went inside one of the units here, things were already falling apart. Coming down here on the heater, the pipe is not even fitted on there. Oh. This is one of the first units contractors worked on Monday at MacDougall Terrace. Oh, it's coming off. It only took a slight touch for this vent to detach from the heater. After seeing that, Anthony McClendon tells me he doesn't trust the repairs are being done right. I'm ready, but I ain't coming into no half done apartment. McClendon calls McDougal Terrace home, but he's one of hundreds of people still out of his home. He tells me he used to be a contractor and can spot a bad job when he sees one. I was a superintendent, not a foreman, a superintendent. I'm not dumb to this right here. I'm not new to it. Durham Housing Authority CEO Anthony Scott had this to say about McClendon's concerns. All work is being done by licensed contractors. And all of the work that's being done is going to be inspected by the city's building inspections department. For this to get rolled off, the city inspector has to come in here and inspect this. And if he don't see what I see, tell him he's blind. Now, DHA CEO Anthony Scott tells me he's optimistic that those nearly 280 families who are displaced and living in hotels, he's optimistic that they should be able to move home either the third or fourth week of February. The total cost at the moment for housing everyone in hotels, for shuttles, and for food stipends, it's already at $1.3 million. Live in Durham, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.